Hello Bambinos, I've got a very exciting video for you. This is the start of a sort of back and forth series that me and my good friend Matrix is starting. He is with me, you can say hi. Yo guys. And um, basically what our plan is, is to jump on the ladder and show off some of the, the new mons and the new terrestrial strategies and just have a bit of fun showing off some VGC content. So um, tell them who we've got for our first video then. So we are starting off with a really cool combo. It's I fell in love with this mon from the moment it was released. We are that is Sir Titan. Anyone who knows me knows that I'm all about the whale. Whale Lord is my stick. But the terror whale, Sir Titan, is the star of this team. So we've got the Sir Titan and a Bomber Snow combination. Uh, as we all know, uh, Hale got a buff this gen into oh a rework really and became uh, Snow. And Snow gives a defensive boost to all Ice types uh, uh, without uh, doing any type of chip anymore. So, yeah, the star of the show is the Titan. Uh, we're going with the Ground Terror uh, with Ice Spinner, Stomping Tantrum, and Liquidation. It, ice and Ground are pretty good at hitting every Mon uh, for neutralish damage. Uh, we're giving it the Life Orb. We did test with AV, but uh, Life Orb is to just give, give it a little bit more damage output. So Titan's got a nice 113 attack stats, but uh, just to give it a little bit more oomph to its hits. Um, and then Abomas Snow is a really cool mon, and I think it really works in a terror, uh, the, the format with terror, as he's able to um, terror into the defensive water type. Uh, obviously, Abomas Snow attracts a lot of fire type damage, and without that four times weakness to fire and that crippling ice weakness, Abomas Snow can actually do pretty well. Uh, so Blizzard and Energy Ball, we've got Aurora Veil um, on there because the team does like a little bit of uh, sustain on it and like giving a little bit more bulk is really good. Yeah, and uh, we've also got the Armor Rogue for uh, a fire type switch in for our, for our Hell Core, um, giving itself a nice little boost to the next fire move you want to carry out. Um, we've also got the Scarf Annihilate, which um, very popular at the minute, can do big damage and just clear things out with that final gambit. And then our last two slots, because that was the sort of four we started building around, our last two slots went to um, Gyarados, because we did want a water type on the team that didn't need to Terra um, and Intimidate, and Gyarados obviously fills both of that, both of those roles. And then Pulmot, we thought we'd just give Pulmot a chance, because it's it seems like a very underexplored one so far, and we want to try and get a revival lesson off because it's fucking funny. So um, that's basically the team, and we're just going to jump on the ladder and try and get some good games. Yeah, yeah, All right, exactly. here we are then with our first game. They've got the Mimikyu, Dragonite, Sylveon, Talonflame, Scizor, and Grimmsnarl. Um, a lot of priority there. There is a lot of priority there. Um, the Dragonite's scary. I've seen a lot of the like normal extreme speed Garuda, uh, Dragonite, normal Terra. Yeah. Um, we've also got a bit of an issue with the Scizor being it could be a Terra Steel, Talonflame, it's got Fire, and Sylveon's probably Terra, uh, terra Fire for the uh, combination. So, ooh, what are we thinking? The, the Ice Core is very, very weak to the Bullet Punch, is the thing. Um, yes. I almost want to leave Paul March to try and just get some nozzles off, because they're definitely, they could get easy Tailwinds up. Um, and we have got the Covert Cloak totally for that Grim Snarl. Yeah, um, yeah I, think, I think you're right there. Do we want to lead uh, Gyarados? I think Gyarados is a good lead because it's a very physical team outside the Sylveon. I think we kind of need to bring the armor as well for the Scizor in the back. Yep. And then maybe just like Royal Bomber Snow because there's Dragonite. Oh, I don't know. It's, it's tough. What do you think? Got 15 seconds. Um, I think we'll be good with the Obama Snow. All right. Terra water if needs. Okay, facts. We can do that to get away from these. Cool punches. feature though. If we do timeouts, it it now uh, sticks with the ones that you've uh, submitted. <laughs> oh, I didn't it, like, know that. In. Yeah, the new feature. I'm pretty sure that it will keep uh, the ones that you've selected, and then just add the next one. Okay, so he's telling thing Grim Snarl. So I'm expecting like fake out Tailwind straight away. Yeah, they, I mean, they've got to respect the hail, don't they? Um, I don't particularly want a double shot. I could nuzzle 
Do we just double into the talent flame? Yeah, I think you can either double into the talent flame or hard swap out in uh, Gyarados, uh, save it for some of the physical mons later on. Yep, yeah, okay, I hear you. Um... Okay, I am. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna double shot this town flame. And probably go bombs now. Um, no, actually, yeah. yeah. I don't want to break yeah, the sash. I don't want to break the sash. Yeah, I agree. Double shot's gonna do some massive damage into this. Yeah, it should be a sash variant though of the town flame. Save some team. So there's the tailwind. Yeah. Didn't see a fake out. See a misty terrain. Oh, good thing I didn't nuzzle. But I could have oh, still nuzzled the town flame. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is the one I was would have nuzzled anyway. Yeah. The misty terrain though. That's interesting because it doesn't oh. boost like Sylvia. I think. Okay. Down goes the town flame. It wasn't one. Sash. Big hit from Puma. But the uh, effect of double shocks means I'm no longer an electric type. True. We've got the Gyarados to bring in to intimidate again if we need to. Switching out will, will uh, give us our electric back as well. Mm -hmm. They do have the Tailwind up. What was the threats they had? They had Scizor, Sylve uh, Sylveon, and Dragonite. Yeah, I can see the Misty Terrain for Scizor to stop it from being burned, which is probably uh, maybe it's got like a clear amulet on it or something. Stop intimidates, so we've just got to be careful of that. Because if, if they're running misty terrain, it means that they want to avoid getting burns and status and stuff. Dragonite comes out. I imagine this terror is here. I can nuzzle this. Oh yeah, and then I can't nuzzle it. You're right. You're right. Yeah. I imagine this terror is here. Stops the nuzzle. But I think it's still pretty safe to go for like a close combat into it, unless it goes because I don't think it gets any good flying moves. I, I, want a hard, I want a hard predict. Yeah, dueling beats removed from its move set, isn't it? Yeah, facts. Do I do I just um? I think you close combat and just go for a blizzard or a row of veil. One of the two. I was thinking veil. Yeah, I'm gonna go for the veil. So I think it'll go either normal or steel terror. It's definitely gonna terror, like you said, because it wants to get onto that terrain. But um, not expecting any dragon moves here. No, they're thinking hard though. This Grim Snorkel can do some, do some parting shots and stuff. Yeah, and I mean, you don't go for it. He does terrestrialize right here. In front of the bonus without terror. Is it normal? Is it still? Please be one of them. Normal. Okay. Okay, Paul Mott might be doing some big work here. But it could still be multi scale, but I imagine inner focus is more. Oh, shite. Iron Head. Crit. Okay. It's okay. Shame the bomber goes down here, but honestly, we didn't need it around. The oh, Paul Mott. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go, Paul Mott. <laughs> what a beast. Yeah, no, I I, I called it. Yeah. Like, it, it had to be a Terran or all variant there. Um, or Steel. Like, they're the only two that Dragonite are really running at the moment, so I was pretty confident with that call there. Oh, this is going to do a big damage, though. Know. Oof, okay. So we're down to a 2v2. They've got Tailwind up. But one of them is Grimmsnarl, and we do have... We have a Sash. Gyarados and a Sash. And we haven't terrored yet. Scizor. Ooh, nice. Nice Armor Rouge. Okay. Armor Rouge. I don't know how to say his name. Goddamn. Hmm. And they can't terror. They've used their terror. So that's Scizor staying. It's so either going to be a Sash or... I think we're better off not terroring at the moment because bullet punch isn't going to hit either of these two, but the terror types will would get hit by bullet punch. Yeah, I'm just going to hard fling throw into the scissor, and I kind of want to double it. Um... Yeah, because I'm a little bit hesitant about any focus sash on it. That's my worry. I don't flush think flinch chance. Is... Sucker punch. Okay, yeah. that did nothing. What the hell? That's neutral. Oh wow, we live in. It's life orb. We take that. Wow. And Armour being faster than Gyarados means that it was pretty safe to double up there. Okay, so there's their chance of a sucker punch here. That's true, but like, what can they do against a Gyarados? 
at the end. Do I DD? Pretty much over one game. No, I don't think um, I need to. I just waterfall twice, don't I? You don't need to. You just you just double waterfall. Yeah, I just waterfall twice. They cancelled. All right, game one in the bag with the team. Paul Mott. Paul Mott did an insane work there. Yeah, lovely hard read into uh, the um, prediction the Dragonite area. Yeah, that was good cool. Yeah. As soon as soon as you said like, um, I was like, wait, I can nozzle this. Then I was like, no, I can't. I knew I would have like got it like a second later than you did. Like, it was definitely Terrorim right there. Um, I mean, that's why I was quite happy bringing the Obama Snow out there because of, and even though it went down, yeah, the crit was unfortunate through the defense buff, but um, the fact that he brought out a, a Dragon Flying versus a Bomber Snow, he had to go for a Terror there. there. There was no doubt about it. Yeah, that was a very, very nice clean win. So uh, we'll go get another one. Game. Oh, we've got Chomper. The enemy. Oh. Garchomp often likes to terror steal. Yeah, but we've got um, the ground broken. terror on our Titan. Yeah, it was one of the reasons why the Titan's got the ground terror on it. We've got another Annihilate, a Rotom Wash. Um, Rotom tends to be terror electric, but it can also be terror grass. So I think a Bomber Snow is going to be pretty good here. I want to lead to Titan. Do you? I, I think so, so Titan can be led, yeah. And Gyarados to get the intim, and we can always switch in a bomb for the speed. Yeah, either yeah, either Gyarados or Pormox can be led. I think so. It just depends on which one we want to do. Um, because obviously we'd want a bomber snow in the back, and like if we bring Gyarados, do we have do we need Armor Rouge because we're worried about the uh, Corviknight? We got Pormox. True, and Annihilate. Do we need Annihilate? I don't think we need Annihilate here. Just remember, we gotta be careful of defiant. Defiant, defiant. You're right. You're right. Maybe, maybe we do go on rogue instead. Oh, what, um, what we could do is actually just yeah, go go armorous, go go armorous or annihilate. All right, we'll go, we'll go armorous. We'll give him a go again. You did good work last time. Yeah, something that I was thinking of then, what we could have done is slept on the death ache first, and that was the titan uh, protect if we need to. Oh, and just get, get a gambit off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. Yeah. It just it was, we had like fifteen seconds left. I was like, oh, go. <laughs> just, yeah, just yeah. Pick. <laughs> All right, so we've got the fake out on deck again. Yeah, I feel like Grim Snarl is always, almost always going to lead. I have a feeling they could fake out the Titan though. It's going to be a uh, Terra Steel. Terra Steel. Do I do I hard to like round one then? Uh... I don't know. I think we might want to scout with a protect on the Titan. And do what pull more like any ground move's going to destroy us. That's true. Can we swap in a bomber? I think we need to. Because I also think a, a fake out into Titan seems quite likely because the obvious play is to bring in a bomber so next to us. That, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Okay, no Terra on their end. Okay, that's interesting. So maybe they were just going to... They protected, they to... protected. And got a screen up or something? Okay. Reflect, Reflect, yeah. But, yeah, okay. I kind of just want to get a Veil up here. Yeah, if we can. I'll go for Dice Spinner. Get a veil up. Yeah, we'll or, go for or, the veil. Mm, yeah, okay, I'll go for the veil. They're gonna tear here, aren't they? If, if, if I'm okay, there, double screen. So they didn't tear her. Oh, we're fast there. They have got reflect up, remember, but. Oh, so Titan, look at that. Oh, wow. Let's go. Even through the reflect, and we get the free veil. Yeah, this is a nice. Uh, like, this is why we wanted that life orb, though. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so what what have they got in the back that threatens this now? They got the Corviknight. They got Corviknight does, but it's nice to have Pormon and Armorage in the back. Oh, okay, it's the it's the Gambit, dude. 
I I is almost want to throw a protect. Is it is it fast enough? Is it fast enough to tie? No, no, it's not. No, it's not. <clears throat> That's why I feel like I want to throw a protect on a bomber snow and just and I kind of want to hit it, but I also don't want to be giving it rage fists. Um. That's true. Who we got on the back? Poor Martin Arm Rouge, which we can always psychic this later. Um, but it's faster than Arm Rouge. Um, I'm trying to think. We need to tear a bit fences in. No, I think we can just go for it. I'm going to throw a protect though. Yeah, okay. Hmm. Thunderwave. They give it a prank to Thunderwave. That's smart. Yeah, I thought that. Yeah, I thought they might have some sort of pranks to control there. And after hit into the Titan. Oh, bulk up. Oh, okay. Right, I'm gonna be throwing hard blizzards oh. next turn then. Yeah, shame we didn't go for the Terra Ground with the Titan there. That Thunderwave would have done nothing. That's another again another reason. Oh my God, we crit. We we just crit. <laughs> So I kind of want to yeah. double into the ape again, uh, or, or ice spinner it, and then just blizzard because oh, aside from the drain punch, yeah, I think ice spinner and blizzard go for it. Or, or do I Terra? Because then um, it's not super effective damage. Terra, but I, yeah, I'm going for it. I'm going to go Terra Water and Blizzard. Yeah, I don't want to take a drain punch. That's fine. So Titan should be faster than these. Oh, even with the par paralysis? Um, I mean, Annihilate is, is faster, but it depends on the set. If it's the bulk up variants, it could Yeah, there's the Dream strong. Punch. Not a strong, good choice to Terra there. Yeah, well done. This could just kill. Oh, it doesn't. That crit really mattered no, last I time. I, yeah, I didn't think it was going to kill. But the Blizzard but the should blizzard finish. Here should still be nice. Oh, we get the freeze on Grimmsnarl. Look at the ice score go. Go, a bomber. I actually loved using the bomber. Yeah, no, I, I, a bomb snow was my favourite part of the, this uh, hail duo. So who they got on the back now? I can't even remember who they had. That's Rotom. I know the Japanese are Rotom for some reason. There we go. We are weak to it with the water. We are. Should I go Puma and Bot Absorb? Um, honestly, I think I think yeah, I think that could be pretty pretty good. Yeah. And hit hit the uh, Grim. Oh, it's frozen. Or should I just go, get damage? Yeah, go for um, I It's it's say. resisted. Go damage. Go for damage on the Grim Snarl for now, and um, to see if what the Rotom does because it hasn't parried yet. Oh yeah, of course. <clears throat> It might be something we can do with the Titan in a minute. Look at that, Paul Mott. Part of the team. Okay, so he's not Terror in because he knows it's in a bad place to Terror. Which means it's probably Terror Grass. I can... I, I oh, he thought, he thought. One, one turn of ice. Uh, oh, did this go to Paul Mott? Okay, no. That's fine. I'm happy to just leave Grimmsnarl forever, to be honest, and just dub, like, CC. Whilst we're here, yeah, because of the, it, we just got to be careful of Thunder. Or Double Shock. Here, double Shock is, here. like, way, way for you go damage here. There, I mean, it, it's the same base power, and I won't get a Spadef drop. That's true. And it doesn't matter if I don't have my electric typing because I've got Volt Absorb. I don't need that electric resist. Oh, they're, they're yeah. Terra in here. Could be Terra Electric. Oh, it's Terra Fire. Okay. That is interesting. Why didn't they do that last turn then? They're still taking a double shock. Yeah, which is fine. And we've got Liquidation. It's bulky. It will be. This is going to kill Sir Titan here, is the thing. Uh, terrible, terrible last, yeah. Right. Okay, Obama, he's not going to do that again. Oh no. And now we're. Okay. 
Oh, the veil's gone. This actually get a bit tricky. We still have a revival blessing for the Titan, which has got Terra Water. Which is not water; it's got liquidation. For the wrote on. Oh, you're so right. I'm doing that now. Um. Are we? We still faster with uh, Pormont. Because Pormont. because as well, um, so Titan will revive without the paralysis. Yeah, exactly. And we're sashed here. Um. I think we target down the Grimsnarl with Armor Rouge. What? Clear smog or flamethrower? What's what's the damage on that? Uh, flamethrower. It's flamethrower does more. Yeah. And Revival Blessing, our boy in the back. Yeah. Look at Paul Mott go. Select Sir Titan. Sir Titan was revived and ready to fight game. again. That's insane. He's coming back. How's that not dead? He, oh, hits, wow. he hits the Ultra Pump. We're Slash though. Yeah, yeah. And we could see a... Um, Spirit Break finishing off. Yeah. Alright, so we, fine. We, we, we bring in Sir Titan. Out, um, so, or, or we bring out Obama Snow. Why? Can we not bring out Sir Titan and switch out Armour Rouge? Armour Rouge is the fastest thing. Because we can bait a. Uh, wait, does he have a Sucker Punch? No, he doesn't. He's Yeah, he's double screens Spirit Break. Damn, are you sure? I don't know. I feel like I want to go to Titan. I don't know. All right, go to Titan. Switch in a bomb of snow. Get the the liquidation into the Rotom. Okay, but you just got to be careful about the Thunder Wave. So I actually think that we protect the Titan because if he's going to just Thunder Wave with Grim Snow. And All I'm right. Rouge yeah, also yeah. That's, that's that's smart. Oh, he didn't even try it. Oh, okay. That's fine. We're still going to get what we want to do off. Oh. Alright, guys. Unfortunately, my recording decided to just turn itself off for some unknown reason right at the end of that game there. But me and Matrix decided we had to include that battle anyway because it was so shysty. It was, it was probably like the most hyped battle we had with this team because... Like, the hell mode really worked, and we got the Revival Blessing off, which was huge. But um, I'll just explain how that game ended, because you saw the Grimstar went down, and the Rotom went through the Fire Terror Blast into the Titan, what protected. And then on the very last turn of the game, I just switched out into a Bomber Snow on the left-hand slot, and then Titan hit the Liquidation into the Fire Type Rotom to finish it off, and that was how that game ended. But yeah, kind of annoying, but we just couldn't leave that game out. It was way too fucking heat, so that's just how that game went. Here's the um, rental code as well, by the way. Like, if, if you want to use this team, we're not saying it's the best team. It's not going to be winning tournaments. It's not going to be taking to number one. But it's very fun. So give it a go if you like it and let us know how it goes. But um, on to the next game. Okay. Ooh, Goldengo. Um, I do not like that mon. It's very scary. I'm Yeah, Goldengo is the problem here. we got got uh, for the hail mode we've done some talking. So we've got Goldengo, we've got two uh, mons really weak to ice. Fire Shot's evolution is kind of difficult to deal with as well. So this could be a game for Gyarados. This could be a game for Gyarados. We've got Waterfall and Terra Grass though. And the problem is, is that uh, Fire Shot's it, Defiant. Could be, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um... I do kind of like Pulmot again though for nuzzling the Goldengo, um, fighting Pulmot coverage is into the. Yep. Pulmot's 100% needs to jump. If we lead Gyarados, I don't think he leads the Bisharp though, right? The King Gambit. No, I think he leads um, Annihilate. Oh, which is Defiant as well. Yep. He might have to ring out. Although Armour Rouge is pretty good into a lot of things here, other than the opposing Armour Rouge. Go for it. Um, Annihilate is good as well. Let's just leave the Hellcore at home this game. So. I don't think Mudsdale comes. And the, uh, and the Toad Scroll is going to fear that Mudsdale. Hell mood. Yeah, Mudsdale will be in a focus in this game. Um, not a lot of stamina has been brought. I have a feeling that it's um, the Overlord one. 
ability because if he's got a nihilist on his team. Yeah, yeah, you're right. What we got? Oh, we could be able to... Oh, we did bring the food scroll. Yeah, it's it's got rage powder potential. Hmm. That's awkward. So the nozzle's not going to be as effective. But at least Armour Rouge has got a focus sash, so it can't just like one shot the Armour Rouge with its move. <clears throat> yeah, because if, if I'm not mistaken, I think it's going to go for a final gambit play, uh, or it would do, and then bring out the King's Gambit with um, Rage Powder support. Okay. If I nozzle any Rage Powders, that's bad. I kind of. I'm forced yeah, to switch. You'd, you'd have to switch in an alley, but I'm fleeing for a two scroll. I, I, that's all I could do right there. I could have gone for the psychic, but I feel like rage powder. We we led badly here. Uh, the annihilate puts on a lot of pressure. CC doesn't affect. Lovely. Mm, nice. And we get the fleeing for it with Ockerberry. Ooh, it's going to be a spore. Yeah, it's going to be a spore it? then, isn't it? Yeah. Or, or it could be trick room. Could be trick room. Can it trick room? Yeah, it can trick room. Okay, spore. So how does reach powder work with the ability? It it pushes it last to its priority bracket, so it's still uh, it's still first. I really just can't bring Gyarados out until until that thing's out of the way. Yeah, that's true. I'm scarf the way ice punch just to get rid of this thing. Um, might have to kind of swap out. And let's try and waste a turn of um, sleep here with a psychic into the annihilate. Yeah. Okay, something's taking a psych. Oh no, I'm not gonna wake up here, but but I could kill the two scroll. Okay, this is this isn't too bad. Yeah, it was wasted tempers anyway. But we could have revealed we were scarfed there if it went for an attack. I think he's scarfed because of his swap. Oh, you think he's annihilate scarf? Yeah. Gyarados just literally cannot come out. <laughs> we're really snookered here. No, that, that, that's a um, supreme overlord one. Okay, so. Do I switch to pull mart so I can reset my what I'm scarfed into? Yep. And try and get a psychic off into. I think we terror. Well, even though we're asleep. Try. Yeah, because of, otherwise we lose our rouge. And what else are we gonna do? Terror the other mons. Okay, what's more important to try and get rid of the the steel dark type or the the annihilate? Annihilate. Okay. Yeah, he's not he's not hitting us with a ghost move. Um, a, a fighting move here, so Terrestrial Dark actually makes a lot of sense. It's only because I feel like a Dark move's coming into you, like, but you, you were threatened at the front, and I don't think he's going to attack us with... Um, I, I, I don't think we'll use any other Terror this game. It looks so sick with its, like, black flow. Sucker Punch, nice. Nothing from you. Rock Tomb. Oh, we dodge as well. Can we wake up? No. Okay. Sucker Punch. Okay, then Rock Tomb. Kind of terror, oh. uh, not necessarily, because they still they had the pressure on us. Rock Tomb. We can technically nuzzle here, the annihilate. Yeah, I like that play because I think he's protecting or switching up the the King Gambit. Um. And try and psychic because we'll be faster after the nozzle. Well, it's faster than us already, but if it's if it's if it's not scarf, but oh okay, uh, someone's getting paralyzed. Unless it's mudstale. It's called Engo, which oh it can be paralyzed. Yeah, yeah, it can be paralyzed this way. Do we wake up? Okay. No, we're getting the full three turns of sleep here. That's okay though, because I don't think King's Gambit's got anything major. Well, that. That. All right, yeah. so now the CC is a risk into the King Gambit, right? Because the Anolip in the back. Yeah. We could just go for the nozzle. 
I like that. And flamethrower. Into the gold dingo. Um, I think we flamethrower the buy shot because if we've got a scarf now, it ghost moves into both the two mobs in the back at the moment. True. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, shame. Oh, we could have gone for a while. Oh, we woke up, we woke up, we woke up. And we're faster. Yeah, yeah. But we were hitting to the protector, right? You're right, right, yeah, that's lame. Make it rain is a spread roof here. Yeah, probably should have gone for the wide guy. Oh, it powered, it powered. Oof. Yeah, loving this paralysis. Alright, so I'm nuzzling him again. Uh, or do I CC this turn? I feel like... I, I think we... I... He knows that we don't want... Yeah, okay, go for it, go for it. I feel like it's, it's fine either way, and... I'll be flaming the... Go down here this time. He could switch his protects. Sucker Punch, will it kill us? Oh, we live on 2 HP, let's go. Dark Terror coming in, Dark clutch. Terror. And he stayed in, so someone's taking a CC to the face. I'm not gonna lie, mate, I am loving Pulmot. Yeah, Pulmot's been really good. <laughs> <laughs> that one goes to King Gambit. Oh, we could have wide guarded here, actually. We'll get a big flame throw off. And we it's a nice, pick it's nice up the kill. Oh, wow. Okay. That's actually really good. Yeah. And the Dark Terror was pretty good for, on it. Yeah, that yeah. absolutely clutched. Yeah. Living that sucker punch on 2 HP. And we still have Gyarados, which isn't amazing, but we should be able to paralyze the... Uh, Annihilate. Annihilate here. But we, we can nuzzle it so our own Annihilate's faster. Exactly, exactly. What are they thinking about? They've got one one left. <laughs> <laughs> and we have four. I feel like this is a DC coming. We managed it to uh, pivot pretty well considering it, the lead wasn't our best into what they led. No, no. But the, uh, the nozzle pressure was really putting it on them, I think. I was telling you, man, this uh, gen, without uh, the type of spinnies running around, Nuzzle is such a good move. And to be honest, if if he decides to kill Armourage here, he, he's coming back to life next turn anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true, that's true. <laughs> but they cancel because they knew oh, they, they couldn't handle it. That was pretty good. That was a good showcase for like Armourage and, and Pulmot again, but Pulmot has actually been showing it's worth all day long. Yeah, Pulmot's been doing it at just scenes where for Amaru's got a nice little showcase and it proved why the dark uh, terror was pretty good for it yeah yeah true yeah because that first turn where they could have um like shadow pulled and like dark move with the king gambit turns out they didn't go for okay. it but um but it still lived a sucker punch yeah later on a life orb uh, it, it wasn't life orb uh, it's just a sucker punch so Pretty huge. Watching it allowed it to pick up the K on Goldengo. Okay, a sand team. Ooh. Hmm. And intimidate. We got a few D dancers. And Gyarados and Tyranitar because of uh, that's why they've got the post armor. Oh yeah, nice. That's tough. Um, uh, we've got a, a banded or scarf U-turn uh, Meow Scarado. I think Polmont needs to come to this game. Yeah, I think so too. I don't know whether to lead. So... I think. Pormot plus a Titan in lead with Annihilate in the Bomber Snow at the back. That for me is going to be tough. I don't, yeah, Armour does nothing here. Gyarados, other than Intimidate it's Pressure. Gyarados does uh, do uh, quite a bit, but it's, it's the other Gyarados, it's like. And the, um. Dos, what's the dog called? Um, Houndstone. Houndstone in the sand is going to be tough. Yeah, especially if we get a few KOs, which is why I kind of want um, a 
Relief in the back with the weather. Yeah. Oh, don't be sound though. It's okay. We can swap. We can swap in if we need to. Right. So we so do. We, so I, I faced this before. Tyranitar can uh, will probably tear it into a ghost type on this lead. Yeah. Ice, ice move into Chomp's really obvious. Do we try and hit a liquidation? Do we Terra here? Because it's like a rock move. Might have to. Might have to. Because we're going to get hit by a rock move. That's what. I think it's a T-Terra. I think Chomp, Chomp protects knowing that I've obviously switches in and a nice move comes at it. I think we go for the... I was going to say stop and phantom. Sorry. Because <laughs> we've just Terra into ground. I don't know what they could tear here. Oh, they could tear the chomp, of course, yeah. Yeah, into steel. <clears throat> yeah, something's tearing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, it could be ghost. It could be steel. I don't know. It's chomp. I think it's steel. Still chomp. Okay. Yeah. This is hitting into the Titan because you're not going to hit that into the X4 resist pull up. No. Oh, and they protected. Damn. I suppose it didn't matter which move we did. That's okay though. We've got ground terror stab into the guard chomp now. EQ. Oh. Interesting. Uh, not too much damage. Resist, oh, a crit onto Titan, brilliant. It's Titan. We take another one though. But we don't hit the uh, chomp at all. We can veil with a bomber so. Or protect. I think we I can like protect. Yeah, we, we can remove uh, Tyrant with four marks afterwards. So I think we can go for some tantrum into the guard jump. Yep. Won't kill it. Wow. That was a lot of damage. The SD. Oh, they got greedy. And a rock side? Protect the bomb cell. Yeah. That's nice. That's actually really good for us. It gives us a chance to roar veil this next turn with um, a bomber. So I think a bomber's faster than Tyranitar. Um. Uh, well, who have they got in the back? Who have they got in the back? Flamigo or Gyarados. Um, don't go for Stop and Tantrum this turn. Go for a Ice Spinner. Just save it kills. Okay. Oh, it was true turn star. Okay. Oh, it's, it's Coast Star coming in here. Oh no. On the on the source dance. Okay, it's still slower. Still slow. As long as it's not scarfed. Slower than us. It's slower than us. Uh, true. But we have a we have a scarf mod. And we've got veil up. Faster. Yeah, which is I still think it's more valuable to get veil up. To oh wait, and now and now um. Ruskin. Sand. No, but then our uh, T star comes back in. Yeah, but we can protect. What, protect and go annihilate? Who else have we got with us? Um, uh, Paul Mott. Paul Mott. Mm. It's tough because it could be a flying or a fighting move going into a bomber still here. I think uh, if we if we're banking on the fact that we want our terror ice still, then I think Pullmont is what you swap into. What switch into Pullmont and protect the Titan? Yeah. And who else did we say we have? I mean, we can always. Oh, that's that's actually really good. 
It's not choiced. Yeah, no, knowing that it's got protect is really nice for us. I think we just close combat and ice spin. You think we close combat and not, and not uh, double charge the flamingo? I spin should kill it. Huh? Yeah, but we're I not fast there. We'd, we'd have to switch in a bomber. Oh, sorry. Yes, of course. I think um, CTR yeah. protects. Yeah, I think I think you're right. Double shock for me go. <laughs> and switching a bomb on this side. Uh, I think so. Because that oh, that gets the hill up even if it dies on on entry, right? To like yeah. a rock slide. Just hope we're faster than Flamingo. With Paul Mart. Paul Mart should be fast. Paul Mart should be fast. There's the protect. Called it. Called it. Called it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Job double shock into the Flamigo, let's go. Paul let's Mark, go. Paul Mark is Again. like MVP, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. Paul Mark comes, we win. Hopefully, literally. It feels like we can win from here because the city tower is now heavily threatened and can't swap out. And and doesn't have sand with the Houndstone. And, have sand for and yeah, that was a really good switch. We've still got an Arlape in the back. I, I think we just CC the um, Tita. And Blizzard. Yeah. Uh, there's, nothing, there's nothing else we can do here. Oh, poor Mott. No Sash on the Tita. No Chopper yeah. Bear on the Tita. Poor Mott, poor Mott, poor Mott. But we are going to see maybe, uh, uh, what's it called? Last Respects? Yeah, that's true. Oh, body press. Interesting. Oh, body press. That does absolutely nothing because of that, that does nothing. <laughs> veil, veil, and um, ice boosted hey. defense. Yep. Super uh, effective. What? Why is it super effective? What? No effect. Okay. Oh, I'm just gonna double double shot. Yeah. Uh, wait. You can't. You can't. You can't. You've yeah. already used it once. You've, you've lost your electric type. No. You think you just lose your stab on it. You can still use it. Oh. I thought it was like burn up, so you just couldn't use it again. Well, we'll find out together. <laughs> <laughs> We've got four mons, I'm pretty sure we can win this. That was cancelled. We'll never find oh, out. Come on. <laughs> nice. Poor Mark comes and we win. Let's go. Yeah, like we had some good games with the hell mood. Um I feel like Annihilate Garados were the weakest points of the team, but Paul Mart um and the Hell Mood were oh, insane. Poor Mart was so good. I'm not even running fake out because I felt like I feel like fake out seems really risky nowadays with covert cloaks everywhere. Yeah, it's not even that. Like, I I just feel like nuzzle just provides so much more value. <laughs> yeah, true. Like so much more. Like, I think fake out's good if you've got like a pivoting role to play, but I don't think Pomat would really be pivoting. Um. So. Yeah, so that's really nice. probably going to be it for this video now. Then. Yeah, yeah, it's just. Yeah, we've got those three are definitely the key to this team, um, and then. Armor had and moments. I remember we kind of had its moments. It was more supporting. Annihilate had its moments, um, although it was just click this move, die. It did do. It did get a nice punch off though, like pretty in one of the earlier games, and yeah. really helped us win that. Um, yeah. But most of the time we were just trying to get the hail mode to work, which was really nice. I was really glad we got to do that. Garudos is probably the most underwhelming part of the team. Yeah, we just didn't seem to want to bring it that much. Like we didn't want to or, proc defy and. Um, it was it was it was the wrong nature. <laughs> so we'll promote it from the start. Um, and yeah, defiance. It's it defiance everywhere, man. Like it's so hard to like try and get intimidate off because you, you're facing so many intimidates as well as like um, defiance. So it feels like you want to be running an intimidate mons because so many physical mons around. But the amount of defiance boosting mons like it, it's so difficult to play around. Yeah. So um. That's, that's going to be it for this video anyway. I'll uh, get back to you with another team. Send us your teams if you've got any pastes. Like I know a lot of the uh, VDL guys will have some pastes to share. And we'll try and use them at some point probably. Yeah, definitely. But uh, until next time, see you guys later. Thanks for watching.